Taste my fury. Let my name be known. <laughs> Pardon the viscera. One should cherish all of nature's bounty, but goblin guts are quite far down the list. You aided a bear without knowing if it would savage you. <laughs> a true friend of nature. Or perhaps a lunatic. Either way, I owe thanks. I am the druid Halson. Yes, but just Halsen will suffice. Unbecoming to demand honorifics from the one who saved my hide. Parasites in your head that... You mean you have one of them? Father, preserve you, child. You're infected, aren't you? The Mind Flayer's spawn. But... Something's different. You're aware of the monster inside you. You don't bow to the Absolute like the true souls do. 
How is this possible? Perhaps. But I wouldn't want to place all my faith in blind luck. You weren't speaking lightly when you said you needed help. Let me tell you what I know. I've been studying these parasites for a while now. Ever since I discovered these so-called true... ...with them. Someone is using very powerful magic to modify these tadpoles. They're using them to exert control over the infected. I'm sorry to say, I can't undo that magic, which means I can't cure you. But that doesn't mean I can't help. I didn't find what I came here for, a way to remove the tadpoles, but I found the next best thing. I found out where they come from. That must be where these enchantments are placed on them. And it's where you'll find your cure. No, this is... different. Altered. The magic used is beyond me. It's either not of this world or so ancient as to be lost to even nature's memory. I overheard that the cultists are sending all of their captives to Moonrise Towers. Innocents go in, true souls come out. Given that all of these true souls are infected, it has to be the source for this magic. If you want to find a cure, you must head there and discover how the tadpoles are being manipulated. I wish I could. But there's still work I've yet to finish. Blood I've yet to spill. I've no right to ask more of you. But if you could help me, I'd be free to join your journey to Moonrise. I cannot allow these butchers to threaten my grove. The natural order must be protected. Korga. I should have suspected she'd take things too far. I'll deal with her when I can. But there are other matters to attend to before that. Help me kill the leaders of this horde. Save my grove. Then I will help you. Three deaths could win us peace. The Drowm in Thara, the Hobgoblin Draw Ragslin, and that perversion of a priestess, Gut. They are the ones holding these parasites together. Remove them, and nature will cure itself. There is no safety, not while this rot festers. Once it is cut out, once the grove is secure, then I shall leave. My thanks. If you prevail, I'll owe you the debt of a lifetime. May Sylvanus guide your hand. Focus on the leaders. That's all it will take to restore the balance here. Decaying legs protrude from the hole. A failed escape, it seems. The body comes loose, revealing a tunnel. Perhaps you can escape where he failed. say he just said some wizard called Laroakin would reward us if we found it that's all the lock clicks and opens Thank you. I, I, I better go before they catch us. 
I should be able to make it to the Grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. The, the Grove. To the east. They wanted to know where we came from. No. They'll kill everyone. Please. I need to warn them. Hey, soldier. You said you might try cooling me down. Any leads? Yes! Ever since we shared each other's flesh, I've caught you looking at me with lidded eyes. And either like a coward or a fool, you tremble. Perhaps the parasite has weakened you. Or perhaps... Perhaps you still long for my taste. I never promised more than a night. Though I can't deny the lure of your taste. Sweet, yes. But also bitter as ginger. Tempt me. Like the shield bearer and pikemen must train to march their formation in tandem. Very well. I will claim you once you have taken to rest. Why would a lesser act spark greater desire in you? Chuk. Overheated grappling that wastefully eats into time better spent resting our muscles. I remember your heartbeat from before. Quick, light, like a frightened rabbit. I'll keep your request in mind. Perform well, and perhaps I'll consider it. Enough! I have given you my word. Do not be late. Lazelle appears at your bunk, her eyes raging with desire. You suspect you won't be getting much sleep tonight. You carry a Githyanki relic. I will have an explanation. Or your head. Walk away. Now. I won't warn you again. That art. 
artifact is an heirloom of my people. Likely she spilled Githyanki blood in order to steal it. This cannot stand! Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. You have something precious to my kin. An heirloom. I will have it back. Heirloom? Plunder from some conquered realm, more like. This artifact is the only thing keeping us from becoming slaves to our parasites. Be glad I have it. I do not wish to spill blood here. Come daylight, we will find a place to end this. Fine. You can accept your wrong, or we'll be rid of you permanently. Either way, I win. You had every chance to look the other way. But here we are. You chose this. Spare me the justifications, coward! If anyone asks, I'll say you were transforming. Don't expect to be mourned. Liability. It's the artifact we need, not her. Let me up, and I'll show you. Can I do that, Lazel? Can I turn my back on you? Never. Thieves aren't afforded such luxury. Loosen the grip on your pride for one blasted moment, won't you? We needn't be enemies. There's plenty of those to go around already. Tsk. What would you have? That we be friends? Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Imagine what we might achieve if we channeled some of that hostility back at our real foes, instead of each other. They wouldn't stand a chance. <sighs> There's something I want to talk to you about. Something important. I could have died in that pod, back on the Nautiloid. You could have died, spending precious moments trying to free me, but you did it anyway. I owe you my life. Twice over, in fact. You supported me against Lazel. I may not have survived that night without you. I'm trying to say that you've earned my trust in a way very few ever have. I want that to mean something. I want you to know more about me, at least from what I can remember. As long as I've prayed to Lady Shah, I've wished to serve her as a dark justicia. There is scarcely a greater way to fully dedicate yourself to Lady Shah, save perhaps if you become the head of her church. To become a Dark Justicia is to become the Night Singer's sword arm, her implement with which she will cast down the unbelievers and win the final battle to restore her perfect, endless darkness. It's all I ever wanted. I prayed it was my calling. But Mother forbid me from seeking to prove myself worthy of the rank. She said I was not ready. Not my... Mother, mother, I should add. The Mother Superior, head of Lady Shah's enclave in Baldur's Gate. 
Sometimes I wonder if she would ever deem me ready. I owe her everything, and I only wish to serve, yet she can prove... inscrutable. Justiciers are hated by many, judged to be ruthless fanatics. Even the few who would accept a follower of Lady Shah would likely balk at a Justicier in their midst. But there's a simpler answer to your question. I simply forgot about the desire I had until I saw some things that reminded me. Now, I can't get it out of my mind. We aren't dear friends now, if that's what you're asking. But I trust we can all sleep a little more soundly in camp now. And get murdered by a pack of goblins or gnolls instead. Lazelle might be a reluctant ally, but she is good at killing. I'll point her in their direction. I hope that's the end of this silly quarrel. They'll have no energy for battling our enemies if Lazel and Shadowheart are too busy squabbling among themselves. Speak. It is over where I am concerned. It is through conflict that we strengthen our bonds, yet I do not recommend Shadowheart seek it again. The next resolution may not end in her favor. Praise is ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyhead. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. Oh, that's rich. A free world? And how come I'm locked up like a bloody elf? I'll tell you why. Because I'm loyal to McGlubbyet. Because I ain't having my head turned by some upstart god. They like feasting, fighting, and fornicating. Who doesn't? Absolute gives them that. Gotta know your place in the world, though. McGlubbyet's kept us in line. That's what a god's supposed to do. Absolute love gone. Dead! Thanks for breaking me out. Gonna find me a new tribe. One that appreciates the old ways. Mm. My. 
penitent child. The goblins have blood on their minds. I am leaving. I suggest you do the same. Use this to fix me. 